Hi there. Um, if you're using HubSpot and you don't really like the reports dashboards that they're proposing in HubSpot, you might want to use the HubSpot data you have exported uh, in Google Sheets and build your own reports there. And it's actually what I did. And I'd like to share the um, templates that I have in Google Sheets so that you can also enjoy them. And I'm going to walk you through how to actually use them. So I propose you to go to that page where it's a blog post, uh, actiondesk.io slash blog slash sales report template HubSpot Google Sheets sales dashboard. And I'll also obviously add the link in the description of the video. And um, when you are there, uh, you'll see that that's the biggest video ever. Um, you'll see that here you have a button, download sales report template that I propose you to click on. And then you'll see that you have that view only. So if you want to actually enjoy it, you need to sign in. Here it is. And now you are signed in, you'll be able to copy it. Um, otherwise it doesn't work. So in file, make a copy and we work on a, on a copy ourselves. Close the other ones. Okay. And what I want to show you is all the great, um, well, I find great tables that are there, the, the reports that you might love to use. And I will explain you how they're calculated and more importantly, um, how you can have those uh, numbers changed with your HubSpot data. So to show you what's around, what you'll get in that template, well, first, you'll have a funnel analysis. So here we use the, the HubSpot um, terminology. So maybe you changed those names. If you did, then um, I'll show you where you can actually update those names. Um, month by month, you see how good you, um, you, you went from one stage to the other. Then here in deals per stage, um, you can see uh, stage by stage, the number of deals, the amount, the average deal value, the, close and pro the closing probability, and ex the expected revenue. This is uh, on a monthly basis, same thing here, um, the number of deals and the amount. There you have the summary of all the month that you've put in there all together. Uh, here you have per sales rep, the their results. So here, just so that you know, there is um, a drop down menu and you have all the names of your sales rep that are here. So you just have to change those names and it will be updated. And so if you want to look at the, the, the numbers for that specific person, then you will see the closed win deals compared to the actual objective that the person had. And so the, the percentage of, uh, of uh, objectives that uh, they actually reached. Then you have the amount by sales rep, the amount won, lost, the total amount, and same as percentages. And you'll have the amount by sales rep per stage. So you'll see where they are in each stage per month. And then here underneath, the last one, the number of deals per stage per sales rep. So you have all your sales rep all together that you can compare easily stage by stage. Then here um, you have um, your source breakdown because you want to know where your leads come from. So here you have your contacts by source per month, uh, the actual numbers, and here is the percentage. So you'll see where your leads come from. And those uh, last tabs, they're the tabs where you will actually use your own HubSpot data. Here it's my HubSpot data. What you'll do is that you'll select all the data here that is underneath the um, the first row, you'll delete it. And what you'll do is that you will export that data from HubSpot and copy paste it. Same here with contacts. You only keep the first row and you delete everything else. 
You might notice here that there is um, a column that is the, um, the column that is calculated. Here you see it's an array formula calculating it. The idea is to, uh, to extract the month when the um, contact was created. So here is 20, 21st of February, 2021, 21 for, um, February. Same here with the deals. And if you're curious about what an array formula is, uh, I actually have another blog post on the subject, which is truly super interesting because when you're doing dashboards, if you don't know the formula, instead of um, dragging down your formula, each time you have uh, additional data, there it takes into account your whole column. So it's kind of uh, magical. So if you don't know it, I very strongly encourage you to know more about it, either in that blog post that I wrote or, or elsewhere. Um, what else? Here, um, you have a list of months, which are the inputs. Uh, those are the months that uh, we'll be looking for um, in, the, in, the, in the data. As you see here, it takes the, um, the data from here. So here you can update the month that you want to have a look at and same here um so as we were saying in the deals um here in the deal stages if you want to update the names that uh, are here with the names that you might have changed but you might have not uh, then uh, you just update them and it will update them everywhere else, like here, for instance. Okay, um, maybe I could tell you more about how I did the um, tables, um, what could be interesting to you. Uh, no, I think I actually presented you everything. So um, I hope you'll be able to answer a few questions that I find absolutely um, uh, necessary to be able to answer when you are a HubSpot user and you might not be able to answer them right now. So I hope that this um, sales report will help you to answer them. One is how long does a deal take to close? That's an absolutely um, necessary question to be able to answer. Also, what's the number of deals in each case uh, in each life cycle stage. That's super important to have that in mind. Also, what's the performance of each sales representative? Obviously, how are we performing versus objectives? You wanna be able to manage your team accordingly. Then based on the current pipeline, what's the projected revenue for the next few months? It's essential to have a healthy business. And where are leads coming from? How do they find us? If you want to drag more leads, you have to know where they come from. So I hope you'll enjoy it. And uh, if so, please share the video, like it, um, look at the whole article where I detail absolutely everything. Like when I say everything, it's absolutely everything. And for each table, I'll say all the questions that uh, this specific dashboard gives you an answer to. So you can do the quick um, trick by just copy pasting the, um, just copying the, the table and copy pasting your data from HubSpot, but you can also dig deeper and, um, and read the whole article if you want. I hope it will be useful to you and uh, have a good one.